Chris 6 News at noon continues. Welcome back. The early bird doesn't always get the worm. Today it got turtle hatchlings. Hundreds of people gathered at the Padre Island National Seashore for the return of public turtle hatchling releases. The star attraction, Kemp's Ridley Hatchlings, and they did not disappoint. Victoria Badarama was there this morning and captured all the oohs and ahs. At 6.45 a.m., officials for the Padre Island National Seashore and volunteers prepared for the sea turtle hatchling release. After that, we were waiting for the crowd to congregate and uh, people asked how many people were here and we counted about 1,300 people. Visitors packed the parking lot, some attending this event for the first time. No, it's my first time. Actually. What do you think being it's your first time? pretty neat. It's really cool. Other visitors traveling as far as Las Vegas just to catch a glimpse of the turtles. My daughter is here for the week and she invited me to come and we found out about the turtles so we're thrilled to be here today. 136 Kemp Ridley sea turtles made their way down the beach and into the water. A happy sight. Although I'm a researcher and a conservation biologist, public education is the third prong that's critical in our efforts because we share this earth people and turtles. Dr. Shaver says the turtles released today will go up the Atlantic coast or return to nests in the Gulf. Reporting at Padre Island National Seashore, Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 News. Who doesn't like turtles? I like turtles. We'll be back with a final look at the forecast.